Good afternoon, everyone. I really thank the, the organizing committee for organizing this uh, amazing event, really, to see people from everywhere. I am getting the responsibility of speaking about uh, the pre-exposure prophylaxis in the GCC, and I found the best, the best picture for it is this one. We have no problem. So uh, I really am going to challenge every one of you in the room. If you can allow me, uh, how many of you are from the GCC, if you can raise your hand, or working in the GCC? Very good. Those people kindly tell me how many of you are believing in PrEP, not post-exposure, PrEP. So now, at least we have a drop of maybe 50%, maybe. And this is the reality. And if we were not in this hall, it would have been even much worse. So I, I wish that I could have got, given my colleague who was giving an amazing lecture about his experience because I have all the time. Uh, this is pre-exposure prophylaxis in the GCC. It does not exist. Very nice. He said it. He said, he said nicely, he said, you know, in this part of the world, it's white. Maybe we don't know the truth about the data. No, it is the truth of the data. It is white. So uh, I'm going to speak about uh, PrEP. Why? What is it? Uh, what is it in the GCC? So I try to find, I'm trying... So I said, maybe I don't know everything. I'm uh, only uh, a physician. So I tried to look in PubMed, uh, looking for articles in Saudi Arabia. No results. In Bahrain, no results. In Oman and Kuwait, no results. And then, surprisingly, I found an article in Qatar. And speaking about needle brick, I have no clue why. So uh, it was just for healthcare providers, uh, healthcare, they were speaking about giving PrEP to someone who is going to perform surgery in an HIV patient, or this is, this is the meaning of PrEP. So I said, you know what, let me ask patients. Let me ask patients in HIV because they deal with the community. If they, HIV patients in the clinics, how do they think about if they heard anything about PrEP, because they already got it. I really got Saudi Arabia, nothing exists from the patient, they don't know anything about it. Went to Oman, nothing about it. Bahrain, nothing. Yemen, nothing. I have patients from everywhere. Kuwait, nothing. United Arab Emirates, uh, he said, uh, great clinic, we never heard about this. Uh, Oman, they don't hear about it. Some of them, they said, yes, we do. We heard from the media. We are not sure about it. So it ended up by nothing. So I have a very simple lecture. It does not exist. So, uh, and why I will just uh, make it, I think it's, uh, it's so good if I give all my... Uh, uh, the remaining of time is for discussion because we will have maybe a lot of people have different point of view. So uh, I think me, uh, I, am, I am honored that I have Dr. Abdullah Al-Hugail with me here in the hall and Dr. Ghassan with me in the hall because in Saudi Arabia we had an amazing discussion one year, few years back about the idea of PrEP between HIV uh, specialist all around the kingdom. And I think we had a very fruitful discussion, ended up by a fight, uh, because it is controversial. We are helping them to get HIV. So uh, I know that this thing does not always agree with people, so I have a very good experience. I work in private hospital 
for people who do not know the system in Saudi Arabia, some of us work in the private hospital, some of us work in governmental hospital. Governmental hospitals, uh, they have very strict criteria, private, you pay for it, you get it. Easy. So I deal with the, you get it, you, I name it, I give it to you. Uh, very easy. So we had a lot of controversial about how do you really give it to people? Do they come and tell you, I am going to do it, and you will say, congratulations, go and do it, and this is the pill. And I told them from my experience, yeah, that some of them, they are high-risk population. They are going to go like for a party or for the thing. They have the money. They say, we do have the money. It's very expensive. It is around 4000 It's like $1,200 per month. So they say we are paying for our parties more than this. So we will pay it. So I give it to them. Very easy, very simple. The drug is there. If they want it, they can have it. So I said, you know what? We've, we had a very, very long history of uh, trying to work the community to learn about HIV. And we did this through social media. I have the honor, uh, Dr. Abdullah, again, al Huqail, he was a pioneer in educating the public about HIV before any of us, me and Dr. Ghassan, worked together. Now we have a new generation, Dr. Ala and others are working into social media. Working into social media in HIV is just for you. It's an easy access for the public to hammer you and to say bad things about you and your mother and your family and everything. So you have to have the gut to do it. And so we came through a long period of time. I wanted to show this video. I'm, I'm really not sure. Can we play it? I'm not sure, I will translate some of them. This is 2010, when I started, me and Ghassan, to start to speak about it. There was someone who wanted to do an episode about what if you had a friend with HIV? What are you going to say? What, what are you going to speak? So if we can play the video, I'm not really sure. Maybe you can play it from your What if you have in the or in the or in any place, God is with AIDS. How do you deal with this? Of course, they go to the ما اجي الاستراحه اصلا انحاش ما اجي ها. ما اجي اخاف انا من المرض هذا والله يعني احاول ابتعد منه امسح رقمه ولا ابتعد منه لانه مرض معدي بكل شيء اي شيء يجيك هذه ممكن احاول ما اقترب منه واخاف انه يعديني او شيء ايوه والمرض اللي معروف معدي بشكل سريع يعني Okay, so I will not take you so long. This is just to tell you people in 2010, they will delete their friend's number if he had HIV, just the phone number, because it's very transmittable, very fast. Uh, this is why they put isolation rooms in the hospital. This is what the public uh, seen about it, because it had been used for years as the punishment from God for doing and loyal sex. Uh, so uh, this is why it has been used. We changed a lot since then, since 2010. I'm really honored and happy that the community way <laughs> came <laughs> afterward. After all of that, in 2019, I had the honor of after all of the things that we've done about public awareness, we were with the government, with the help of everyone in the ID community, we were happy to give them their rights and to give them authority about having a job, ha getting married to someone who is not HIV tested uh, positive. So this is, was a huge issue to give it, to get it through the uh, religious uh, community, through the government community, and to have it approved. And I had the honor for this picture. It means a lot to me. This was a very famous Saudi TV program to go into the first female negative for HIV married to a positive patient in the TV saying, yes, I want to get married to him. So I had the honor of having her in the show. And uh, it was, to me, this is a great picture just to tell me how much social media really helped us to uh, tell people about HIV and to try to 
easy the barriers against it and also to give them their rights and to know their uh, easiness. The thing that I used to break uh, and use for a newly diagnosed HIV patient, it used to take me around 40, 50 minutes for me to deal with the crying and the job and everything that he had to do. And now, now in my last clinic, it takes me only five minutes because he saw everything in the T YouTube channel, in our, uh, our uh, HIV website. So I am honored that it takes me five minutes now just for the patient to come happy. He knows that everything will be okay. He knows his rights. It was a work of the whole ID community in Saudi Arabia. We had, uh, it calls, do not walk blind. Uh, and it have, it have our website uh, and it have our YouTube channel. We did, this is, this is was to tell people about testing. It's free. You don't have to name yourself. You don't have to say your nationality. We will do the testing for you. It's fourth generation. We did it crush what we used to take ages now in videos. We can do it so fast. Uh, we spoke about, this is where we spoke about PrEP and post-exposure in a video. Now this is how I get the customers. This is how I get the patients. This is how I get people. It's through social media. It's one video and people will come into my clinic from everywhere. People will go to Ala's clinic now. People will go to Abdel, uh, Dr. Abdullah and Dr. Ghassan. They, it's a limited access from our patient. But we do they get our patient for PrEP and post-exposure through one video. We, we have 84,000 to see what does it look like in two years. Uh, this is, I just put an example of our latest video speaking about uh, the clinic and uh, that the, there is a, a place that you can do the testing without anything. We did it in one minute, like what people want to see. In the, if we can play the video, please. هي عيادة لفحص تحليل الـ HIV إذا كنت أنا خايف وعندي شك أنه أنا عندي فيروس نقص المناعة أروح عيادة المشورة الفحص فيها دقيق جدا وهو من الجيل الرابع الكومبو اللي يبين الأنتيجين والأنتيبادي ولما يطلع التحليل سلبي معناه ما أوسوس ولا أروح أعمل تحليل تاني وثالث ورابع معناه أنه أنا سليم بالإضافة لأنه دقيق هو سري تماماً لا أبغى اسمك ولا هويتك ولا جنسيتك ثلاثة الفحص سريع يعني إيش؟ يعني يطلع خلال عشر دقائق إذن فحص المشورة عيادة المشورة لفحص تحليل الـ HIV سري دقيق وسريع لا توسوس ولا تمشي على عماك Two years ago, I did the same video. It took me four minutes. It had 84,000 views in two years. This video, one minute, very simple. We are now being hammered more than 90,000 views in three weeks. This is, is you speak the language. If we speak the language of social media, I got consultant. We are saying that this is the Saudi society of infectious disease, so they know it's, everything is right and appropriate. We are now yeah, having yeah, our, uh, our website because we need to teach our young. <laughs> because I always ask people in my presentation, do you know what? your children watch in social media. Do you know whom they follow? What do they say? And it's amazing. I got an example that none of the people in the hall, they know about it. This is, those are, they, saw, they call themselves the Saudi reporters. They have more than 5 million followers. Every video they do is, goes into crash. If they speak about sex, it goes into minutes. They will have millions of young people who will know about it. So we have to speak their language if we want to do it. We did our website uh, for, the, for, uh, for the society and we were lucky that because education for HIV were, did not exist in the Arab country, we even found the, 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 the site free. ArabHIV.com had no one took it. So we were happy we took it. So ArabHIV.com, uh, we, we have in this website uh, we have uh, five uh, main domains. The first one is the first night 
you tell me you are diagnosed newly, I have 24 hours, seven, we have someone from uh, the society, a patient in your city who will speak to you, he have experience, he will calm you down. Next day you will have a physician, we can get you access to care within 24 hours, anywhere that you are in the kingdom. If you have a problem with your medication or you are prescribed an antibiotic and you are not sure about interaction, you can just put the two pictures. We will have someone to answer you. We have volunteer physicians from all around the Gulf areas. We have more than 50 physicians around the clock in their WhatsApp. Anything that comes into our website, it will go to the WhatsApp group. We will answer them quickly. We were happy that we helped a lot of people during uh, COVID time. We have more than 57,000 uh, 57, visitors last year. We have a very active Twitter account and we have our YouTube channel. We have 163 prescribers. This is the highest Arab uh, website that have prescribers for anything medical related. We have more than 10 million views for our, uh, our uh, videos. And we have a lot of videos to speak about side effect of each medication, what to do, what is STD, what to do with them. If you have even our latest video that is going viral is if you had a massage, a sexual uh, happy ending massage, what should you do? <laughs> massage is great in our, is going like fire in the Arab country. So we had to do a video for it. So in this way, we have everything covered we are hoping to cover more in the Arab countries in this year. And this is how we are gonna speak about PrEP and post-exposure prophylaxis. We already have good post-exposure prophylaxis videos, but for our trip for pre-exposure, we just, just passed the tonsils. Thank you very much.